Sweden's adoption of the Patriot Air Defense System, designated Luftwaffe System 103, or Livias 103, in Swedish service, marks a pivotal shift in its military strategy, reflecting both its evolving security needs and its integration into NATO's collective defense framework. The procurement process began in November 2017, when Sweden, after weighing options against the Franco-Italian Aster 30 Samp T, requested an offer for the Patriot system from the United States. This decision was driven by the Patriot's proven combat record, immediate availability, and interoperability with NATO allies, critical factors as Sweden sought to bolster its defenses amid rising tensions with Russia following the 2014 Crimea annexation. By August 2018, an agreement was signed under the U.S. Foreign Military Sales Program for four Patriot Configuration 3-plus modernized fire units, including 12 M903 launchers, to form two battalions. Initially budgeted at around 10 billion SEK, approximately 1 billion USDs at the time, the total cost ballooned to an estimated $3.2 billion, encompassing missiles, support equipment, and infrastructure, such as 40 Rheinmetall HX series trucks ordered in 2019 for mobility. No follow-up orders are planned, indicating Sweden views this as a sufficient capability baseline for its long-range air defense needs. Deliveries proceeded swiftly, with Swedish troops beginning training at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, in December 2018, ensuring operational readiness ahead of hardware arrival. The Swedish Defense Material Administration accepted the first components, tools, test equipment, and PAX-3 MSE interceptors in April 2021, initiating system integration. A formal handover occurred on November 18, 2021, in Halmstad, activating the system within the Swedish Armed Forces, with the fourth and final unit delivered ahead of schedule in December 2022. This rapid timeline, from contract to full delivery in just over four years, underscored Sweden's urgency to deploy a robust defense against ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and aircraft. Deployment specifics remain classified, but strategic logic points to key areas like Gotland, a Baltic Sea linchpin, and southern Sweden, potentially covering a line from Uppsala to Gothenburg, as speculated in recent ex-posts from March 2025. Each fire unit, comprising an AN's MPQ-65 radar, an AN-MSQ-132 engagement control station, and three launchers, operates under a battalion structure, achieving initial operational capability in December 2021, with full operational capability targeted for 2025. The Patriot's role in Sweden is multifaceted, serving as the backbone of its long-range air defense and aligning it with NATO allies like Germany and the Netherlands. Equipped with both PAC-3 MSE missiles for hit-to-kill ballistic missile defense and GIGEM-T missiles for broader threats like cruise missiles and aircraft, it offers a layered shield against modern aerial dangers. This capability was absent in Sweden's prior systems, such as the Cold War-era MIM-23 Hawk, and complements shorter-range assets like the RBS-70 and Tridon Memcat 2. Recent activities reinforce this role, notably the November 15, 2024 NSPA agreement, where Sweden, alongside Germany, the Netherlands, Romania, and Spain, committed over 5 billion CK, about $455 million, to procure up to 1,000 GMT missiles. This deal, spurred by a 2023 NSPA request, enhances missile stockpiles, supports NATO interoperability, and fosters European production via Comlog, a Raytheon MBDA venture, reducing reliance on U.S. supply chains. It also includes updated components, new suppliers, and test equipment, ensuring long-term sustainability, a strategic move reflecting lessons from conflicts like Ukraine, where air defense endurance is paramount. Comparing the Swedish Patriot to regional competitors like the Aster 30 Samp T, which it outbid, reveals distinct trade-offs. The Samp T, developed by Eurosam, offers a range of up to 120 kilometers with Aster 30 missiles and excels against ballistic missiles and aircraft, boasting a lighter, more mobile footprint, deployable in under an hour versus the Patriot's more complex setup. 
Its naval variant, PAMS, enhances its versatility, a feature Sweden might have valued for Baltic operations. However, the Patriot's broader combat experience, longer range, over 150 kilometers, and dual missile configuration, PAX-3, MSE, and GEM-T, provide superior flexibility and precision, particularly against diverse threats. The SAMP-T's radar, while advanced, lacks the Patriot's AN MPQ-65's multi-target engagement capacity, and its production timeline in 2017 couldn't match the Patriot's off-the-shelf availability, a decisive factor for Sweden's urgent needs. In the region, Norway's NASAMS, with a range of 40 kilometers, and Finland's reliance on shorter range systems like the Krotal NG, range of 11 kilometers, pale in comparison to the Patriot's reach and missile defense prowess, though NASAMS offers agility for tactical scenarios. Russia's nearby S-400, with a claimed 400 kilometers range, outstrips the Patriot in distance, but is offset by NATO's networked advantage and the Patriot's proven reliability against real-world threats. Technologically, the Swedish Patriot benefits from upgrades like gallium nitride transmitters introduced in 2018, enhancing radar reliability, and the GMT's modernized fuse and low-noise oscillator, improving performance against high-speed, low-altitude targets. These advancements, paired with the PAC-3's precision, position it as a cutting-edge system, Though its high cost, $3.2 billion versus SAMPT's estimated $1 to $2 billion for a similar package, and logistical complexity are notable drawbacks. Operationally, its modular design and multi-target capability shine, as demonstrated in Ukraine, where Patriots downed Russian hypersonic Kinzhal missiles. Sweden's investment in joint procurement signals confidence in its longevity, leveraging economies of scale and NATO synergy Advantages the SAMP-T, despite its merits, couldn't fully match without broader alliance adoption at the time. Overall, the Swedish Patriot system stands as a formidable asset, balancing cost, capability, and strategic alignment. Its procurement reflects a pragmatic choice for immediate, proven defense over the SAMP-T's potential, while its deployment and missile stockpiling underscore Sweden's proactive stance within NATO. Against regional peers, it offers unmatched range and versatility, though at a premium in cost and complexity compared to lighter systems like NASAMS or SAMP-T. As Sweden fortifies its Baltic defenses and contributes to collective security, the Patriot's operational track record and ongoing enhancements ensure it remains a cornerstone of its air defense strategy, adeptly meeting both national and alliance demands in an increasingly volatile region.